Howdy folks, today we're going to talk about the TR Corolla's factory exhaust. It is a three tip design. Two and three. And the center section is valved from the factory. And that valve is open above 4500 RPM and at startup. Uh, so today what I would like to do is find a way to keep that valve open at all times. You can see in there, that's the valve I'm talking about. So you get a little bit deeper rumble with the valve open and uh, I'm gonna try to make it where it's open always. Now the theory behind this is I'm gonna remove this actuator and I'm gonna disconnect it from the valve and hopefully pin that valve open so it never tries to shut, it just stays open all the time. So let's get started. First one, I wanna undo this electrical connector up top. It's got a push pin style uh, connector. You just squeeze the little clamp right here and then pull it off. Then there are three bolts that you're gonna wanna take out. One here, one here, and then one over here. Um, so that's what we'll do next. Take out those three bolts. And once the actuator is removed, this is what it looks like inside. You'll see those two um, slots in that piece. And they're controlled by this. Uh, this is the actuator and those two teeth go in those two slots and that's what opens and closes that flap. Now, you can do a couple different things. Uh, I've seen people recommend to just leave that like that and zip tie this actuator up behind the rear bumper here somewhere, but that's not what I'm gonna do. I've actually gone ahead and pinned that uh, flap open. It's staying in the open position right now. And I'm gonna remove um, this piece here that has the the teeth on it and I'm gonna reinstall the actuator back up in there so it's all gonna look factory but uh, it's just not gonna have the piece that actually moves the flap now to remove this piece there is a roll pin um, right there you can see and I've already beat it out it is kind of a little job it's not the funnest thing to do, but if you've got the proper tools, you can get it out fairly easily. And once you remove that roll pin, this piece here just slips off. And you can take that off, reinstall the actuator back up into the hole, and then everything's kosher. Um, this will still move uh, back and forth as it tries to open that flap but it won't have the gear per se to actually make it happen. So this is gonna work just like it should, but it will not actually be opening that flap. Actuator is back in. And again, it all bolts up just like factory because it is factory and you can never tell the difference. Now that that's done, if you take a look, that flap is open and will forever remain open because there's not an actuator that moves it anymore. Now, why would somebody do this? Well, if you're like me, you really like the sound of the factory GR Corolla exhaust, but just think that it could use a little bit more growl. Man, at cold starts, it sounds fantastic, but then it kind of tames down after a few minutes. And now I'm hoping that it won't do that. Hopefully it'll just sound good all the time. Eventually, am I going to buy an exhaust? Absolutely. But for right now, I'll rock with the factory exhaust with the flap open and see how it does. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you watching. Please subscribe.